President Biden's decision to kill the Keystone Pipeline has cost thousands of American workers good paying jobs. Now one of them has a message for the Biden administration. I've been pipelining for 21 years. This is all I know how to do. The recent administration has uh, taken my livelihood from me and expected me to get a job somewhere else. I've got my whole life invested in this. Jason Jernigan joins us now. Um, Jason, it's not easy to come up on television and talk to people about how you, your livelihood, you feel, has been taken from you. Um, it was a very good paying job, and your son is also in the business. Tell us a little bit about your story. Uh, yes, thank you, Dana. Thank you all for having me, too, by the way. Um, I'm a third generation oil and gas worker. My son would make the fourth generation. Uh, my grandfather worked for Texas Eastern, retired. He worked for the gas company. And my, my dad is a 45 year member of 798. And uh, he retired in 2010. And I've been at 798 since 1999. And uh, it's 21 years I have invested here in. Uh, and you were about to have a, the, you had been hired to work on the Keystone Pipeline when then President Biden made that announcement in January and that job went away? Yes, ma'am. I was uh, I was hired previously, uh, you know, a few months ago when they did, when uh, President Trump signed off for it to go and it was going to go and I was hired to work. It was actually supposed to start next month. <laughs> and uh, I was actually hired on to Keystone when uh, President Obama was in was in office and it got canceled that time. I was wow. hired on it then too. It's unbelievable. Jason, what do you do now? How are you gonna make a living? Oh, uh, that's a good question, Mr. Bill. Uh, I, have, I have an answer for that. You know, I'm 45 years old. And this is all I know how to do. I spent my whole life learning this craft and this skill and uh, it's not as easy as somebody might think or, or People might think to just start all over at 45 years old. I mean, I guess I could possibly get a job as a greeter at Walmart. I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't have an answer to that. I really don't. What did you say? What did you think when uh, climate czar John Kerry, former Secretary of State, suggested that people like you at 45, instead of starting over, that you could just get a different job in solar panels? Well, uh, it's really. First of all, I mean, I haven't been offered a job in the solar panel industry, and I haven't been uh, sent a, an application or a phone number or anything. I don't know if I have to do the do the work and ground the groundwork and everything it takes to get there. Right. And uh, secondly, I mean, it's uh, if I I've, I've done the research. I've, if I went to work for the solar panel right now, I would I would be taking a thirty five dollar an hour pay cut and mm -hmm. uh, lose my benefits and, right. and retirement. Jason, um, we have you in our thoughts and prayers, and also we're going to keep talking about this story and advocate for you. Um, hey, th thank thank you. you, guys. Thank you all. Thank you, Jason. Thank you all thank for, you. The, uh, for the coverage. Yes, thank you for the coverage and the support. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Bye, Jason.